Hello, and welcome to the Durham Tech Main Campus Library. When you first arrive in the library, you will show your current student ID to the student or staff member at the check-in desk. Make sure that you get your ID updated at the beginning of each semester. If you do not have your student ID or do not have your student ID updated and are a current student, you may sign in twice a semester with a one-day pass, but you will need to know your student ID number and have a photo ID. Use this option wisely since it is only available to you twice a semester. Once you check in with your ID, there are many things you can do in the library. Do you need to use a computer? The library has two computer labs, one upstairs and one downstairs. All computers have internet access, Microsoft Office, and some of them even have special programs for math and web design. You log into the computers using your Durham Tech username, your last name, first initial, and the last four digits of your student ID number. Upstairs, the computer lab is open as long as the library is open. You can print upstairs. Each page costs five cents, cash or change only, and you use the print release station to retrieve your print job. If you have questions, ask for help at the circulation desk. Downstairs, you'll check in with the lab monitor by showing your student ID and signing in. If you signed into the library using your one-day pass, you will not be able to use the downstairs lab that day. Downstairs, you're eligible for 10 free pages of printing per day. Each additional page is five cents. Sometimes the downstairs lab is closed for library instruction sessions. During that time, only the computer lab upstairs is available for students not in the class participating in library instruction. Library instruction schedules are posted online and on the door of the lab so you can see when it's available and when it's not. The library also provides internet resources to help you with your classes. Most of these resources are called databases and they contain a wide variety of information sources that can help you both do research for your assignments and help you succeed in your classes. You can find the library databases through the library homepage under the Research Databases link in the first column and you can access them both on and off campus. The library has books, DVDs, magazines, and newspapers for students to use in and out of the library. In order to check books out, you will need a library card, which you can get at the circulation desk. If you need to borrow a textbook for one of your classes, the library has them behind the circulation desk for checkout. These textbooks and class-specific books and films are called reserve items and are available for use in the library for two hours at a time. You will need to know your course number, for example, ACA 122, to get the correct textbook. If you want to check out other books, the library has them both upstairs and downstairs. You can search for specific books and DVDs by title or topic using the Books and DVDs catalog on the library website. Books and DVDs are on a wide variety of topics, including some new releases, old favorites, and lots of things in between. If the library doesn't have the book you're looking for or need for a class, you can request it through Interlibrary Loan, where the library borrows the book for you from another community college or university library. Ask a librarian for more details. You don't have to want to use a computer or check out a book or DVD in order to use the library. The library also has a variety of individual and group study areas and Wi-Fi for you to use your own personal laptop or tablet. Need quiet study? Use the upstairs study areas around the reference books, or downstairs use the study carrels behind the staircase. The quiet room offers silent study for students who don't want any distractions. Don't mind or need some noise or need to work with a group? The library also has a large study area available downstairs for multiple groups or individuals. There are rolling whiteboards that you can use. Ask at the circulation desk if you need some whiteboard markers or an eraser. There are also study rooms available for checkout on a first come first served basis, an upstairs and downstairs larger group study room and two individual or two person study rooms in the large study area downstairs. If you need to attend a webinar or record a lab for your foreign language class, using one of these small study rooms is a great idea. 
The library is also a place where you can come to get research help for the many assignments you'll need to complete in order to get your Durham Tech degree. You can find the librarians at the circulation desk, and they can help you find books, DVDs, or articles for an assignment, help show you how to use Microsoft Office, including formatting APA and MLA style papers, help you learn how to correctly cite your resources to avoid plagiarism, and lots of other things. Don't be afraid to ask. If they can't help, they'll work hard to refer you to someone who can help. There are also librarians and library services available on the Durham Tech Northern Durham and Orange County campuses. Remember, the librarians are there to help, so again, don't be afraid to ask questions. Welcome to the Durham Tech Library.